Are they back over the wood? They are now. They're yeah. right over it, aren't they? Push them around and sort of say. It's not until they start coming out over the field. Yeah. That wind's pushed them right back. Oh, to be honest, I think. Where you go, you're going to get some. Yeah. It's yeah. just getting the best flight line, isn't it? Which is what was it. Yeah. To walk up through it. Yeah, I think this is the spot. <laughs> well, what we're doing is just tidying up where we're going to go. We're going to have hide. The wind's from behind us here. And they're coming down through this valley, coming up through here, coming to the beans that we're, they're just starting to harvest behind. The combine's still working next door, so it'll be a bit dusty later on. We might have to make a run for it. But yeah, so the plan is one that side, decoys on the beans once the combine's come past and uh, the other one with decoys out this side on the barley, get a few. So, well that's the plan at the moment, but we've had about six plans since we've been here. As long as you get a few good shots on camera, that's, that's what it's all about, and, yeah. and protecting the, the field of beans behind us. So. But yeah, so we're just going to tidy this up now, and we can make it right then. Back out again with the, the new jack pike eye poles. They're a lot longer than the old ones. A lot better made, the other ones were all right, but these are a lot stronger. The clips on the top are a lot better, and the bag's a lot stronger as well. In front. Coming down on the left hand side. Get on, get on. Get on. What me and Gary tend to do, you can see there's flies on these now, these are, these are out in the open, but usually we, we tuck them back under the hedge. And uh, this is one of the old Clearview nets that Jack Pike do. Um, I've had it quite a while now, so it's been used a hell of a lot. They now do it in uh, English oak, and it's got, it, well, it's so fine, the flies can't get through it. So what we do is we cover them up, flies can land on it, but they can't get through and lay the eggs on the, uh, on the birds. So, um, it's a tip, it's just something that me and Gary have always done, so. On the left, one coming in lovely. One in front, in front, right in front. Go on, Bush. Me? Shot.
Uh, we put rotaries out for a start. Then we went over to, I've got a auto bouncer here. As you push the button, it, go, it goes all the way to the top, flaps to the top, flaps at the top, comes all the way back down. When it gets to the bottom, it flaps twice and then stops. So that's the one we've been using today. And we've got FF6 here. Um, we've been using that. Um, we just resorted back to flappers and, and they work really well. The plan was today we was going to have two hides up this hedge and uh, shoot the pigeons coming to these beans. Um, they were still harvesting it, so we was here to do a job of keeping them off the beans today. We kept the pigeons off of here. Um, but yeah, we'll be back on them again later in the week. So, Well, have a good day, Mush. Yeah, I had a brilliant day. Always yeah. a good day, isn't it? Well, it is, yeah. yeah. A bit of a struggle today. It was, it was hard work today. Yeah. It was hard work. We weren't expecting the farmer to cut the beans today, so <laughs> if he only cut the beans, I think it would have been a better day. Um, but that's the way it goes. But no, we had a good day. It was a bit of a struggle, like I said, we, we put the flappers out in the end and that tended to pull them. We tried a bow tree. Uh, they didn't really want to know that, but yeah, it's been, it's not all, always easy, but, but no, it's been a great day. We both shot pretty well too, haven't yeah. we? It was over 100 there, isn't it? So. Yeah, well over 100 here, so, but yeah. Keep the farmer happy, that's the main thing.